In this video for Polycraft Academy, I'll show you how to use pumps, pipes, and regulators. So for the simplest system, we're just going to start with a plastic chest and then shift click to place on a pump. Now the most important thing you need to know about pumps is that little green square shows you the direction of flow. If you're looking down when you set the pump, you'll see the direction of flow is now up and down and that won't work with the chest. So you need to make sure, even if you're staying too close, see that's not correct. You gotta make sure you're staying far enough back that the green square shows the correct line of flow. Whoops. Okay, so put on another chest. Now this is the simplest system and it doesn't do very much, but if we now right click on the pump, you can see that it's green, so there aren't any problems, and it says add fuel to start pumping. Now I'm using sweet kerosene, which is one of the best fuels, but there are several you can use. And this system is now ready to go. If there's a problem with the system, say I take away that trunk, you'll see now that the message is in red. It says invalid default target. So it'll help you to troubleshoot if you're having problems. Now we'll just put that trunk back on. And now anything that I put in this chest will be pumped to that chest. Now remember these pumps have direction. Anything that I put in this side is not going to move to the other side. So you want to keep in mind which direction the pump is facing. Okay, so this is cool, but maybe not that useful. Now what we can do is add some pipes to this system, which again, you're going to shift click, and you can put on as many pipes as you want, really, so that you can move materials from one, either part of your base to another, around a mountain, whatever you want to do. Let's put another chest down, come and look at our pipe, Everything's in green, so everything's okay. It knows it has seven pipes. So whatever I put now, again, in this chest, it's gonna be moved down to this chest. Here, everything is waiting for me. So this is a cool way to move stuff around in your bases. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that these pipes also have a flow direction. So if we're looking at this direction, you can see in the direction of flow, the pipe is open, and now this side is closed. So if I try to set a pipe here, it won't set correctly. You see there's a break. So it knows that those pipes aren't connected. You have to reset pipes in the direction of flow. It's okay to break them and reset them. You just have to make sure that you're looking at the active pump when you reset them. So now if you want to get a little more fancy, what we can do to this system is add a regulator. And again, the regulators have a direction. There's that green square that shows the direction of pumping. And the blue squares on the other faces show you ways that you can move materials. So let me just fix this real quick. So you can move them from side to side. Uh, there's a port on the top and a port on the bottom that you can't see because it's sitting on the ground. So if I just kind of get out of my way here, I can set a pipe or set a chest. And on the other side, we'll do the same thing. You can set the chest directly next to the regulator as well if you wanted, um, but we'll just make this a bit fancy. So we'll set this chest. And now what I can do, by right-clicking on the regulator, I can see my options. So it's important that you're looking at the pump when you set these, otherwise you'll get your left and right mixed up. So let's have it put cobblestone to the left, plastic chest to the right, and then we'll just fill some stuff in here. So definitely some cobblestone and chests and then whatever else. And what the system will do now is it will move cobblestone only to the left and plastic chests to the right. And then everything else is just dumped into the default chest. So if you have something that you put in there that's not sorted, it's just gonna go down to this chest. And you can keep going. So if you wanted to, let's just make some room here, you can right click again and add a pump to this chest and add a regulator. And you can add you know, as many pipes as you want and chests and you can just keep going you know, for as long as you want. So you also have to set them pipes up. It's a little more challenging flying. You have to make sure that you uh, fly high enough for when you shift click. And then we'll put a chest here. So all we need to do is add some fuel to this pump. So we've got some more sweet kerosene here somewhere. And now this could continue pumping. You know, whatever we wanted to have in these chests, 
into however many other chests they wanted to use. So you can really use your imagination and use this to uh, organize things really easily. You can also pump directly into other polycraft inventories like distillation columns, and I'll show you how to do that in another video.